Hello doll lovers, it's Ruby Red's World of Dolls and welcome back. Yes, 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 I have found more of the Wow Hearts crew. As a matter of fact, I have all of them except one. And from what I'm hearing on Instagram and Facebook and YouTube, everybody is having a hard time locating her. And some people feel like it's part of the process of, you know, them making that one hard to get, making it hard to find. And it does make it fun because, guys, like I said, for me, the hunt is just as fun as collecting the doll. You know, it's something about it. I can't describe it, but I found these girls at the um, Walmart that I found um, Kina at. So, you know, the manager did tell me that, you know, they probably did have them. They just didn't have them out yet. So, I spoke with someone in the toy department on um, Thursday and she told me that she definitely had them because once I went back and looked online again, this um, beauty in the back here, Charlie, was showing online that she was available at the store. But when you try to order them, you're pre-ordering. And pre-order was always saying they wouldn't ship to you until um, August, the end of August, September. So I wasn't down with that because I felt they were really in the store. But that is the only Walmart. And I've been to five different Walmarts in different areas. And that Walmart was the only Walmart that had them in. And they finally had them this time on an end cap, which is what I thought from the start, you know, and that's what I told the manager, you know, these dolls should be on an end cap, getting their own um, recognition and their own display, because people will miss these dolls if they're not on an end cap, and got them hit away on the shelf like they did Kino when I first missed her, and ended up going back and finding her. But I'm going to show you guys, I got Corey, and then in the background, I got Charlie Lake, and of course, JC Masters. But I'm going to review each one of these dolls separately, and Corey is going to be the one I'm going to review today, because I want to give each doll her own spotlight and shine, because she deserves that. So, let's get started. This, again, is the adorable Corey Cruz, and the packaging is the same. It's a fabulous, I love the artwork and the design on this packaging then here on the side of the box we got a picture of Corey jamming away with her headphones on and then here on the back you got another beautiful picture of the whole crew and then it just tells you join the wow hearts crew a sisterhood of girls following their wow hearts desires each her own spitfire, her own brand of rebel, together hand in hand. These teens are an unstoppable force for doing what they want, being who they are, and flipping their collars at anyone who tells them you can't. I love that. And then Corey, of course, says, my parents say I didn't speak my first word. I sang it. I'm not sure if that's completely true, but I've been singing and playing music for as long as I can remember. I sing when I'm happy, when I'm sad, when I'm busy, when I'm bored. Music was my first friend, but not my only one. I've learned that sharing my music with the rest of the crew makes the tunes and the friendships even sweeter. Now, how awesome is that? So that is about Corey Cruz, and she is a fabulous, and I am so excited and ready to get this gorgeous girl out of the box. So without any more waiting, I'm going to get her unboxed and check her out up close. Meet Corey Cruz. Corey is absolutely stunning, guys. I am just loving everything about her as well. I have restyled her hair a little bit because, you know, they always come out of the box with box hair. And I was going to try to style it the way they have her picture here on the box. But then I decided, you know, right now I kind of want it like this. I want to kind of show you guys her face and everything. So I kind of want her hair to be out of the way. But look at that beautiful face. Isn't this just a beautiful beautiful girl. I mean, she's gorgeous. I love the skin tone. I love the hair color that she's that she's rocking. Her hair is like 
purple and lavender. I mean, it's just a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous color. And I just love all the curls and all. Uh, it's just awesome. Now, it is in two sections. Um, they got it pulled back. Well, I took mine off and restyled it and pulled it back. But I did still put it back the way they had it as far as that. It has... um it's pulled back in two separate pieces. You've got in two high ponytails. You got a high ponytail here on the top, and then you have it pulled back in a ponytail back here. So it's two sections, as you can see. So you can restyle it and style it in different ways the way you choose to do it. And then here on the side, she has this um corn roll um molded on. Her hair is braided, corn rolls, however you want to um call it. And um, it's really cute. I really like it. I love her style. I love everything about her as well. I think each one of these dolls were designed and a lot of thought went into each doll's personality and everything is just on point with what the doll's character is. So that is her beautiful hair. Now let's look at that beautiful face. I love her thick eyebrows. I love it. And then she has kind of like her eyes are not brown, but they're like light brown. You know, they're like in between brown and light brown. You know, they're a lighter color brown. And they're beautiful. And then she has this blue star um, stamped on her cheek there. And I just love it. I love the eyelashes. And then she has two little blue um, dots there right underneath each eye. I hope that you guys can see that. I mean, Corey is absolutely stunning. And look at that beautiful purple, deep purple color lipstick that they gave her. I mean, it's just gorgeous. I love it. Then she's wearing a pair of silver um, earrings here. And the earrings on these dolls are removable. Now, her headphones were on top of her head. But, you know, I took them down because I wanted you guys to see um, her, her hair and all. And plus, I had styled her hair. But these are her headphones. Let me show you the headphones. They were pinned down to her head. So, you're going to have to clip the plastic ties um, loose. Just like um, Kina's hat was. But if you're fine with keeping them on and you're not going to take them off, you can leave them um, pinned down. But I cut the pin ties loose. So, this is what her headphones look like. They look like actual headphones. Got little stars, um, star detail there. And they have it on both sides. And they're real hard little, they're hard plastic. And then you've got the um, wire here that goes down to the cassette player. So she has a cassette player. So that tells you what time this is. And then it looks like it opens. So let's open it. So you can open it as well. And there is the cassette. How cool is that? And I think that the cassette player is removable. It is. I'm not going to take it out. But you can take the little cassette out of there as well. All right, this is really, really cool, guys. I like it a lot. So this is her headphones and cassette player. And then she's also wearing a cute um, necklace there around her neck. And then let's take a look at her fabulous jacket. It's gorgeous. It has um, the CC here. I'm sure it means Corey Cruz. And then on the side of the jacket as well, it's got the hearts and a star there. I mean, I really like it. Again, I love the colors in her collection. I think the colors are absolutely gorgeous. This is the back of the jacket. And then this is her on the, from the side. Her jacket is really cute. Um, it has a black trimming ribbon, um, rib trimming around the each wrist and also around the waist of the jacket and I'm going to take the jacket off so that you guys can see her complete outfit she's stunning she is stunning so far I am loving these dolls I really am and again she was for these dolls were $14.97 again I think they did an awesome job keeping the price point in a reasonable um 
in a reasonable um, area for everybody. I really, really like that. So this is her little jacket. This is the jacket off. And everything seems to be stitched and made very well. Again, I'm very impressed. Very impressed. So here is Corey's um, outfit. It's a one-piece um, jumpsuit. Um, you know, whatever you want to call this. And this is her... Um, the back of it and then here is her belt and the belt is removable her jumpsuit velcros down the back to here and I love um I just love it I love the designs of their bodies these dolls have curves and they look like actual teenagers <laughs> and I really like that again I think a lot of thought and detail went into these dolls and I just my hat hats off to the designers of these dolls and then here is her belt and it looks like the buckle I don't know there is the buckle I was trying to see if it was some kind of design but it has little details in the belt as well it's not just a plastic um strip it has little details all around belt holes there I mean it's really really cute I really like it a lot I like it. And her jumpsuit is, again, I love all the vibrant colors. I love the pink and the green and the black. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. And then they gave her these adorable um, sandals here. I love the heel on them, the wedge heel. I like the color again, that pop of color that brings out all the colors in her jumpsuit and her whole outfit. I mean, girlfriend has got it going on, and I am loving it. Her articulation is the same. Her head turns from side to side. You can tilt it up and down for different poses and looks. The arms, the shoulders go out. They move forward and back, and as you can see, she bends at the elbow. Her wrists turn from side to side. You can twist them. She has articulation at the hip and at the knee, okay? There is no articulation at the ankles, though. I mean, these dolls are absolutely gorgeous. I just love it. I love it, love it, love it. I can't say enough about them. I was so excited when I walked into that store, toy store yesterday, after speaking to the, the girl that worked in the department. She had me thinking that Corey was the only one that she had in stock other than Kina. So when I walked in, just imagine my surprise when I saw that end cap. I was about to ask a sales associate um, where they were and because she promised me that she was going to get them out. And before I could ask him where they were, I turned to the end cap on my left and there they were. And it was awesome. And then to see that they had um, Charlie and JC was even, um, even more exciting. I was so excited. And then, of course, each one of these girls comes with her own little pamphlet, Corey Cruz. And then the inside of it, you open it, and you got the pinky pack. And this is the one that everybody's looking for, that girl there. And then you've got this here. And then, you know, you open it up. And each girl in the inside, it all I think they're all going to be the same when you open them up. You've got little highlights and different things about Corey here. But when you turn it over, you've got this poster that comes in there with each doll. And I think it's absolutely gorgeous. So Rally Redmore is the one that everybody is on the hunt for that nobody seems to be able to find. <laughs> yes, she's going to be that diva. It's always going to be one in every um, line that um, is going to be difficult to get. All right, different because I think there's only two kinds of music, the good kind and the other stuff. Isn't that true? Isn't that true? Um, good at music. I start playing piano before I could walk and I'm a maestro on the mixer. Wow. Needs practice, not getting lost in my music and forgetting everything else around me. So the, it just gives you little details about Corey. And if I'm not practicing an instrument, I'm not thinking about composing. I'm thinking about composing music and mixing music. Who wants who want to who wants to play my music for first? So it just gives you a little, just telling you little quotes and things about her. And I like these little pamphlets too. I think that's really really cool, guys. This is Corey Cruz. 
and I am excited to have her and I'm so glad you guys stopped by. I hope that I covered every detail that you would possibly want to know about these dolls. Again, on a scale from 1 to 10, I give this fabulous doll a 10. I love everything about this doll. Again, for the price point, I think we get a lot of bang for our buck. We get accessories, we get clothing, clothing that are separate, which means you can mix and match and change them out and let each girl wear each girl's style if you choose i think that is awesome the details that went into these dolls awesome 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 wild hearts crew is a great crew to have and i am so excited to have them guys don't forget to like comment and subscribe don't forget to check me out on instagram i'm ruby red's world of dolls there continue being awesome fantastic and fabulous and i will see you in my next review